Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how to install Design Kit in your Figma account and I will give you a quick tour around the file. So, let's get started. First, open up your Figma app and simply drag and drop the file from your hard drive into Figma. It may take some time to upload the file and then, once it's completed, you can click the Done button. Remember that Design Kit should be treated like your starting project template. So, always keep your original file and if you want to start a new project, simply duplicate the project into a new file and change the name. Now you can double click on it to start your new design. Now let me give you a quick tour of what you can find inside the design kit. On the first screen you can find some quick step-by-step -step instructions that will help you to get started with design kit. I would recommend checking it out as they can be very helpful. All right, next uh, we have the examples page. Here you can find some sample wireframe pages. Um, you can use these pages as your starting point to customize it from here or just for inspiration for your own designs. And then we have design kit page. That's where you can find massive components of elements used for notes, descriptions, project notations, and design system pages. It's something you don't want to use um, as a part of a design, but simply just for the design presentation. All right, next uh, we have the design exploration page. So that should be your first step of the design process. This is where you can collect all of your research, inspiration, and put together quick samples of the visual design ideas that you can later use to present and discuss with your client before you even start designing any final uh, mockups. So I will cover more details about my design process in the next video. But for now, um, just so you know, this is the place where you can do your um, exploration phase. Next, uh, we have the design system pages. So these are the building blocks of your design project. Uh, this is where you can set up your own brand assets, colors, typography, and customize um, UI elements. All of these elements uh, will be later used across the entire design. So whatever changes you make here uh, in those master components, those changes will be applied across uh, all of your mockups. All right, the next section is the wireframe kit. So here you can find all individual modules, content blocks, and even the entire sections of the page that can be used uh, for wireframing. So you can use these elements as your tools to design your own wireframes, and those can be later turned into mockups. And remember, those are also master components so whatever changes you make here in the wireframe kit, all those changes will be applied across all of your wireframes that you create if you never detach uh, the components from the master elements. Okay, um, now the next two sections are wireframes and mockups. And these are just empty templates that are ready for you to start your project. So I like to organize my screens between those that are in the progress, in review, and which are done. So I usually start with the wireframes in the work in progress page and once I'm done and the wireframe is sent to the client, I move it to the in review page and can continue working on the other pages in the meantime. So then once I gather feedback from the client and all wireframes are approved, I can move them from in review to the done page. It's the same rule later when I'm designing uh, final page mockups. All right, and the last page is trash. This is the place uh, for all unused design ideas or to archive copies of your design uh, before applying more serious changes. So instead of deleting any pieces of your design or spending time browsing the history to find the previous versions, it's a place where you can quickly access it. Uh, so you can simply copy and paste here any elements um, from your designs before they get deleted. All right, and that's all I have in this video. Thank you for watching and in the next video I will show you my design process using the design kit in Figma.